Hi everyone, it's Linda Westfall here and welcome. This video is part of a Hop for Alta News Summer Sunshine Collection release. All the information on the giveaway is in the description box below. I've purchased some reinkers and realized that I did not have the crisp dye ink pads to go along with them. So I'm going to show you several ways that you can use those reinkers without having an ink pad. I've put some of the Eastern Sky Crisp, crisp Dye Ink Refill onto an acrylic block and using a sponge dauber, finger dauber, I'm just going to spread the ink on a strip of Nina Solar White cardstock. There's a couple ways you could add ink to your cardstock. You can take the ink pad and directly rub it onto the cardstock which I've demonstrated here on the other end. And then you could also use blending brushes to blend the ink onto the cardstock. I'm going to run this piece through the Vintage Lace 3D embossing folder and I'm going to rub a wet baby wipe on the back side of this before I run it through. and I will set that aside to dry. I'm going to create my background panel using a piece of photo paper and the Iceberg and Caribbean Sky Artist Marker Refills. I've added isopropyl alcohol on my panel and then some drops of the ink and then I'm moving the ink around with a puffer tool and more isopropyl alcohol. I'll also lift up the paper and um, tilt it, move it to get the ink to flow where I want it to go. And we're going to do some hot foiling with the Linear Life Tropical Garden Stamp Dye and Hot Foil Plates. I'm using Silver Foil and Hammer Mill 110 pound cardstock. I've put the hot foil plates on, then the foil shiny side down, my paper, and then the two shims. Waited for the timer to tell me it was ready and then ran it through my die cut machine. I'm also going to foil the largest circle from the scallop circle um, hot foil plates onto some lightweight vellum. And I normally use a shim with vellum, and I forgot. So when I remembered, I was already putting it through the die cut machine. I've run it back and forth through the die cut machine. And the only thing you have to be careful with is for things not to shift on you. I've done this before and messed up my um, project because it's moved. Luckily, it turned out and I'll take it and cut it out with scissors. The second way I'm going to be using the reinkers is I'm going to just use my finger and rub the ink along the raised edges of that embossed piece of cardstock. This is the Ultramarine uh, ink refill. I typically always uh, use a full half sheet to create my alcohol ink backgrounds. So I'll just cut down um, the part that I want. And then I'm going to use the Jet Black ink spray and a paintbrush. And I will flick the ink splatters onto my panel from the acrylic block. And for the third way of using the ink refills, I'm going back to the Eastern Sky and I'm going to use a sponge dauber and apply it directly to my stamp. Um, and that's the, the Linear Life Tropical Garden stamp set. And I'm adding in those center details on the, the foiled images and then I'll use the dies and um, cut them out. Mm -hmm. 
I've adhered a piece of the double-sided adhesive sheets to the back of a piece of gilded glitter cardstock and then cut a strip from that. I'm adhering that embossed strip to a white card base with some tape runner adhesive. I'll adhere the alcohol ink background the same way to the card. When I added this panel to my card base, I realized it was a little short. So I took it to my trimmer and tried to trim off that top edge, but it just ended up making a mess. You can also do this if you have a trimmer blade that uh, is a very sharp and leaves a frayed edge, but you just take a fingernail file and rub that along the edge and have to do it for quite a while to finally get all the, the edges smoothed out, but we did it. Now there's a stitched scallop circle die that coordinates with that hot foil scallop circles, but I wanted to show you it cuts and leaves some of the foil on both of those pieces, but I wanted all of the foil on the piece that I used. So that's why I use scissors to cut mine out. For my sentiment, I'm going to attach the whole bold sentiment stamp sheet to the outside of my Misty with some washi tape. Then I'll line up the paper next to it, ink up the stamps with obsidian black ink, stamp it, and cut out the one that I want. Then I'll just pop the ones that I don't use this time in with the stamp set for a quick sentiment for other cards. I'm using liquid glue to adhere the vellum to the card, and then I'll remove the backing from the glitter strip and adhere that um, to the card as well. Then I've added some instant dimension foam tape to the back, the flowers, leaves, and sentiment strip, and then I will adhere those to the card. Lastly, I added some black enamel dots to the card, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm the last stop on the hop, so make the rest of your day amazing.